Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors, this is Starscream1988 and today I bring you a very cool review here on Diamond Selects Toys with Arth Asylum this is their Mini Mate Star Trek the Original Series toy and um, this is really cool, this is the miniature version of the Enterprise and as you can see from the picture back there Captain Kirk takes the full command of the ship as nobody else really fits in it uh, but yeah, we'll kind of check that out Back of the package is where we start. There's not really much to it, but I'll let you kind of read that there. So let me kind of focus in a little bit. Obviously, you can pause it if you so wish. So hopefully that's enough. Yeah, just pause it, whatever. And then uh, we'll bring it right over. And there he is, or there the, it is. And there she is in its full glory. That is the NCC-1701 Enterprise. Very, very cool. Love this damn thing. Um... <laughs> with the first time I saw this was at um, Big Bad Toys and I just like I was like yeah you know what I, I really want to get that and I really thought about it I thought about it and I had it on pre-order and then I went to my man um, Dave over at Kamikazes and he had it he had it for the exact same price as Big Bad Toys and I'm like you know what I'll save on shipping plus uh, you know I, I honestly I, I like Big Bad Toys a lot I really do I think they're an awesome company but I, I'd rather give my money you know if I can to 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 my my friends that actually own shops and stuff like that so I, I like to take care of um you know the people around me a little bit more but uh but yeah this this is really cool I can't wait let's um crack them open let's check them out okay and we are back now normally I actually would have had this ready for you but I thought it'd be fun um obviously there's a little bit of assembly required so I figured you know what we can just kind of build it together and Kind of go from there. Now, what what's cool about the packaging? I did not know that this came with because I don't even think the box tells you. Um, there's an inner tray, as you can see, it's round. Um, and actually, what that was holding, which I was really impressed, because we're gonna check the box together, but it actually comes with a display stand. So unfortunately, it does not have the Federation symbol. And those are my lights up there. Um, <laughs> they look like flying saucers. Um, yeah, so it, it, it doesn't come with a really cool uh, Federation stand like some of the other Art Asylum toys do. Uh, but, yeah, you know, it's I'll, I'll take it as it is. That's fine. Um, but, yeah, I'm really surprised that it came with such a huge stand. Um, but that's pretty cool. So it's close. I mean, they really could have curved it and would have been the Federation symbol, but that's cool. Um, so that's the package. So when you're looking at the package, you can't really see it from behind, which I'm really pleasantly surprised. Um, does it say that there's a stand? Length just gives you the length, the max speed, warp. Uh, tells you a little bit about it. Yeah, nowhere in the box does it say it comes with a stand. So that's really cool. So at least now you guys know for those of you that uh, weren't told in other videos or whatever. I really haven't seen any because I haven't bothered looking, but comes with this real cool um, uh, manual here. Not a manual, I'm sorry, um, with the the latest toys, which is really cool. I really miss this on toy companies like Hasbro doesn't do it. Like nobody does it anymore, but I'm glad they still kind of add it. So, uh, which is pretty cool. So it kind of shows you what's available, what's coming out. Um, the US Enterprise HD, uh, I think that's the one that's like a hundred and something dollars. Um, there's the Rafa Khan version up there, that's very nice. Um, I actually definitely have to get that one. Uh, there's the Enterprise D, the Future, all good things. Um, I have actually all of those. Um, the E, I also have that one, and I actually don't have a Bird of Prey, so I gotta get the Bird of Prey eventually. Um, and then here's some of the um. The, the toys that are also coming out so you can celebrate the original show pretty cool stuff pretty cool cool stuff so yeah enough of that I'm sure you guys just want me to get to the damn toy <laughs> so anyway so here's the um, saucer section um, it's it's huge <laughs> it's a lot bigger than the uh, original obviously but it's it's meant to be like that it's it's a toy at the end of the day it's supposed to be cute so um, here's the bottom portion of the chair i believe well actually no that's so you can do it on the floor so you can kind of do two things so you can kind of have this like this next to it when you finish building it i guess if you wish um and then obviously you can sit him there and there he is and all his captain might <laughs> mr james tiberius kirk so that's pretty cool. 
so yeah so this is if you just want to oop and he fell if you just want to keep him like next to the ship which i might display him like that because nobody would ever know that he's inside unless obviously they play with it when i do display it so i think i think that'll be pretty cool people will be like oh that's cool captain's chair um going back uh there's the instruction man he kind of tells you how to do it obviously it's in black and white but it works it tells you how to build it I'm opening this for the first time, just like you guys get to see it. <laughs> that I, I saw this. I thought I thought it was broken. I'm gonna show it to you, but I guess you can hide him in there if you so wish. It's kind of funny, or another figure. Um, so I guess um, plug both display pole segments into flat base for the taller display section. Oh, okay. So it actually you can make it taller if you so wish. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so that's that. Um, yeah okay so yeah it's two parts so you could i didn't even know that either so there's two parts to that so you can make it shorter or taller if you so wish i probably do taller who knows so anyway so we'll show you that after so anyway yes yeah, so you can do that you can dismount this from there it's kind of like uh it almost it, it's definitely plastic but it feels like almost like a pewter for some reason so you can do this too if you so wish all right and one thing that, um, another thing that it came with was, um, came with a set of stickers. What's cool is that actually they gave me two. I don't know if they were meant to do two, but they seem to be repeats. Um, so may or maybe you just kind of do it all around the set. I, I would think it's really only one set, but they sent me two. Well, with this one came with two, whatever. So that's kind of cool. Um, it all also came with weapons. Came with the phaser. Came with the rifle and the communicator. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so he would go in here um, as such, and then you can close them up, and it closes fine, as you can see there. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh man, mini mates. Yeah, um, like I said in my previous video, um, one of my unboxings of toy hauls. I, I mean, I liked the, the the mini mates. At one point, I had close to over a hundred um, of the loose figures. Uh, but then I got rid of them. I think I have maybe six or seven, eight, uh, if that. Um, I've passed on, you know, I've seen the Knight Rider. It's cool, but, it's, you know, it's like, eh. The Back to the Future again, another, you know, really cool property. But I've passed on that, too. I had the, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, Speed Racer Mach 5 and the um, Shooting Star. But eventually i got rid of them you know sold them to somebody that actually would enjoy them and wanted to display them i could just never display them so um when you put this on be very careful it's kind of scary man it almost feels like it's going to break and it's not clicking right i mean i know some of these toys are not perfect but yeah it's not clicking right so i know that once you put this on you can never ever take it off at least i don't think you can see it has that space there guys so we kind of bring that back down there so you can kind of see it better. Hopefully, there you go. Yeah. So um, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't fit that well, but I don't want to break it. And there's that opening there, which is really cool. So if you want to, you can kind of put him there. Like if I had um, probably like check off, I'd probably put him in there instead. <laughs> so you can do that too. That's pretty cool. Eject them into space. So that's cool. So then, um, so that's that. And then we're going to bring one of the nas nacelles. I always forget starboard port. I think this is port. The other one's starboard, but I could be wrong. Click that on. There you go. <laughs> this is so cool. Bring this one over. I know transporting this, I'm going to be really, really scared that it doesn't break. I'm probably going to have to box it and like in a bigger box or something, put some bubble wrap. I got plenty of that, actually. But um, yeah, there you go. This is it. This is so cool. I like this. This is cute as hell. So obviously, you know, you can use the display stand, which it comes with. And I'll bring the camera up so you can see that out. Uh, let's see. Do I have that backwards? I guess so. There we go over so you can see that very 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 nice now one of my nacelles um 
seems to not been glued properly i try to press it um this is obviously before i went into cam um to video uh, but i didn't want to push it i didn't want to destroy it you know because um it's made out of like a, a plastic so i just let it left it alone but uh, it's this one right here it just won't go in anymore so i wish i could take it out so i can re-glue it uh, but it won't let me one thing that i would want to do as a i'm not a professional customer by any mean by any means but i might actually paint these because these are supposed to be white on the show i'm pretty sure um so yeah that i would paint that's the only thing that i see missing other than that this is really really cool um other than the 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 reflector array um there's a little loose that section there so and just kind of for comparison purposes, let me kind of bring this back down a little bit. Take it out of the stand, I should say. So, <clears throat> bring this down. Um, I don't have any batteries on this because I had it in storage and I didn't want the batteries leaking, breaking. But it is the original Enterprise. And this is also from Art Asylum. Um, and the thing is, actually, let me look in here again. I apologize, guys. I just want to make sure. Yeah, see this this enterprise here this this original one um it doesn't have the little antennas so i definitely want to get this one because this is the high definition version so that's when they remade the uh, the 66 show the all three seasons um they cleaned it up and what they did was they made a new cg model of the enterprise and it was just a little bit nicer so that's what that is the hd so i, I do want to get that um, so, but I believe this is the original, original with the funky, um, with the funky um, nacelles there with the points and stuff, the radar dish, that hasn't changed. So, um, and yeah, see, this is the one with that type of opening, um, and then this is the, I think this is part of the HD line. So, it was, I think it was just a common mistake in the show, I don't know if one was first and then supposedly they retrofitted it. I mean, I've seen the episodes, but it was years ago. Um, so, yeah. Um, this one actually also comes with, like, a, a stand that you can replace where the battery root compartment is. So, you can actually have enough stand. So, I just, I don't have a screwdriver right now. And so, I just kind of wanted to show you anyway in terms of sizing. So, in case you have this, you know what this is like. If you were curious and maybe thinking of getting it. So... there you go so if you have that one now just in case if you don't have this art of Salomon, one because i know they're a little bit hard to find you might have this one this one was widely available in all the retail chains they were literally giving them away um, i think they were like 20 25 dollars when they first came out um, i actually picked this up for 9.99 at a tj maxx i believe it was so there you go so again it's pretty much the same size we'll bring this down again kind of see it just in case again if you have this one here in terms of comparison so so it's only a little bit taller because of that base right here in the bottom so there's the front right there actually this one still has battery this is really cool this is honestly one of the best toys for ten dollars i've ever gotten in my life i kid you not captain engineering reports ready for launch All right, so enough of that. This is enough review on this. It's this. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you that because that is a really, really cool toy. Probably one of the best toys for $10 I've ever gotten in my life. I kid you not. Uh, but yeah, this is really nice, guys. I honestly, honestly, uh, it's a little pricey. I think $30 is a little much. I think $19.99 would be perfect and it would be worth it at, at the 20 But I don't think it's going to be available anywhere for $19.99. Um, if you can get one at $19.99, I mean, hey, definitely go for it. Uh, but I think $30, $30 is pretty much the price anywhere. Um, I have not seen these in any of the uh, Newberry comics yet. But I'm assuming if they do get them, they'll probably also be priced at $30. If not, probably more. Who knows? Because um, I know some of like the other ones, like Knight Rider. Again, like I just mentioned. Um, <clears throat> the um, Back to the Future. Those go for like $20. And they're tiny. So, um, not at Toys R Us. But like, at, you know, again, um, some of these like kind of hip little places like Newberry Comics and stuff like that. 
so but yeah this is really really cool guys i honestly definitely recommend it even at 30 i think it's definitely worth it for 30 um so again but only if you're a you know a, a, a star wars collector i mean st oops oops blasphemy blasphemy people star trek collector um guys as always thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video um yeah definitely pick it up if you see it you guys take care peace i will see you guys later